It's written on your face now You wanna be my muse? Hey guys, last video I started off telling you about my journey and my previous misconceptions about the whole idea of being natural and such and um I'm back to share some more experiences and some more tips about going natural and ideas. Um, really quick, if I wonder what I'm doing with my hair, um, these are just really big kinky twists that I did. And honestly, I must admit, this is like the laziest hairstyle I do, I do of the year. What happens is that when it starts to go in the fall, I'll put in a protective style. Because um, one, I don't like wearing the same style for a long time. So um, the fall time gives me a chance, fall and winter gives me a chance to wear something different, have a new look. Um, braids or twists or whatever. And two, I don't like parting my hair when I do my own individuals, my own little micros. So this is sort of like a preface. I'm not sure if preface is a word. This is sort of like a, a preview of parts to be made in the smaller parts when I finally do my braids, but I, I absolutely can't stand parting my hair. And another excuse is, is I really do get tired <laughs> of doing my hair after a while so I like to just be curled up and look like a you know I really like it it's like I said I don't really curl the ends often and I just kind of rock it however it gets rocked anywho um, back to the going natural thing uh, not everybody is entirely ready for the transition and I think that's up to each individual to determine within themselves and to an extent the lifestyle does matter um, if for instance you're like my sister who's a busy mother who also um, attends school, she goes to school for nursing, and um, or you go to work or something like that, then I understand that you may think, oh, I don't have the time to wash my hair every day. I don't have the time to condition, or I don't have the time to sit under a dryer. That's perfectly understandable. Um, perhaps you'll find a natural hairdresser that can take care of these kinds of needs for you. Uh, really, it's about time management. I mean, I have to have the time because I work from home. But I know that if I didn't, you know, I've always been like a, a hair fanatic. I really have. I've always been obsessed with hair. As anybody that, you know, that knows me, I've always been obsessed with hairstyles, hair care, hair everything. And uh, I guess it's always been a normal part of my routine to spend a lot of time on my hair. My cousin will call me and she'll go, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, my hair? She's like, you're always doing your hair. Yes, I know. I, I am. I'm kind of anal retentive that way with my styles. But anywho, it's really something to consider about going natural. Perms aren't necessarily easier for everyone. Frankly, I don't miss having the flat iron in my hair so often. I don't miss having to blow dry it having to literally blow dry it dry after I would wash and condition it. I don't miss having to brush it down if it was frizzy or having to comb it to detangle it, you know, and straighten mat it after you wash it. I don't miss any of that. I really don't miss getting perms not one bit. Whereas I know other people who are going natural that don't necessarily miss perms but they miss the convenience of being able to unwrap their hair and being able to pin it, pin it up and go. I guess it really does depend on your hair tolerance. That's what I'm going to call it, like your hair tolerance. As far as um, what you're willing and capable of doing when it comes to styling your hair for every day. Some people are, I'm not sure if high maintenance is the word, but there are some people that have certain fashion lifestyle trends that they'd like to keep up with that isn't possible to do with natural hair um, you know if that's what you want to do then then fine for instance my sister has permed hair her hair is perfectly healthy it doesn't break off like crazy she really keeps up with it goes to the hairdresser that's her lifestyle she's able to do that and she knows that going natural is something that she neither wants to do or is even ready to do that's perfectly fine. I, you know, accept whatever you want to do. It's your body, it's your hair. As long as you're aware of what you're doing or what you put on your head or um, what kind of influence these chemicals and other stuff is having on your hair, even when you are natural and you're dyeing your hair, it's very important to be aware of all the side effects of everything that you do, just like any other thing in life. So your hair 
you know, I hear a lot of people say, I am I. My hair, that's true, and then it's not true. It's not true t to the extent that you should judge someone simply by how the hair is styled, how it looks, um, how it feels. It's just simply judging with your eyes that's really not okay. So in that sense, no, I'm not my hair. I'm not, you know, the stereotypes that come along with the type of hair that I have, basically. But in a sense, I am because it takes a certain lifestyle to maintain the way that I wear my hair, the styles that I wear. Um, I know sometimes natural girls get kind of pissed off because the people are like, oh, you're like some kind of earthy chick, or you're really political, aren't you? Or um, make all these assumptions that you're now like a woman of the earth. And not that it's a bad thing. And um, they're like, hey, hey, you know, I'm still normal. My hair is just natural. My cousin is natural. And I had no idea she gets her hair pressed by the Dominicans every week. Her hair is down to her butt, okay? And it looks permed. And her hair is very healthy, very shiny, very soft. But that's her lifestyle. She goes to the hairdresser. That's her routine. I have not gone to the hairdresser many times in my life besides braids. So I can't say that it can be come a part of my lifestyle where I can get used to going to the hairdresser every week and my hair blown out trend and done this and that way. It's really not my thing. I enjoy doing my hair myself. It's very relaxing. So if you're new to going natural, it's really, really something to think about about what's good for your lifestyle. Maybe you want to go natural but still want to keep your hair a certain style or a certain way and you're used to going to hairdressers. Work that out, you know, find somebody that's that's good and that can work with your hair without damaging it. Because sometimes you go to these hairdressers and they don't care, they'll just blow dry it and damage it and all that other stuff. They, they really don't care. You want to find somebody that cares about the health of your hair as much as the style of your hair. And you would think beauticians should be that way, but all of them aren't. So, something else to consider. Um, I'm not going to rant too much, but... Like I was saying before, there's there are so many misconceptions about what going natural is and what is natural. In my opinion, it's not using any chemicals to alter the natural state of your hair. That goes for texturizers, these natural relaxers, which I don't even whatever, I'm gonna get into it. I don't think there's anything natural about relaxers. <clears throat> and um, dye, dye for me altered my curl pattern, but that could have been because I had something else already in my hair to texturize it. Um, dye, I think you're still natural if you dye your hair. Color really doesn't make a difference to me. Um, it's easy to say, you know, this, this is my natural hair texture, but not my natural hair color. Because trust me, when I reach a certain age, them grays are going to be gone. So, um, <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> but, you know, my family is just early to gray, so, you know, I, but, okay, so, being natural to me is not using any form of chemical muck to change the texture of your hair, whether it's perms, Texturalizer, texturalizer, whatever they call them. I, I don't do all of that. Anywho, um, this is still new to me, and I decided, you know, to bring these experiences and these ideas to YouTube because I remember how much and how helpful it was to see other women go through these trial and errors. You know, not all their videos were perfect. Some of them made mistakes. Some of them had to get their hair cut again. And sometimes they were success stories, and it was like, wow, your hair went from what to what? That's great. Like, it's really inspiring, and it's a really great way to connect with other people and other people's experiences. Not everybody's video is entertaining. Somebody out there might find this absolutely boring and might have turned this off, like, right about now. But, um, honestly, as long as one person out there is really benefiting from this, then it's completely worth it. And I'll be sharing a lot more of my experiences and a lot of um, research that I've done on different hairsty hairstyles and different hair types. And I'll share what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And if somebody out there has, you know, my kind of hair or my kind of issues, then I really hope I can help them out. 
but as far as going natural, it was the best decision I've ever made. I think my hair is absolutely beautiful, and I haven't straightened it completely, um, whole head straightened it in a very long time. And that's because I just absolutely love my curls. I was looking on a website to see what type, because you only got your A's, B's, C's, other stuff. And I must say, I believe I'm 3C4A. No resume necessary. You're too, too, too adorable not to be like all the others. Um, my hair isn't very thick. I will say that it may look thick. I know this sucks that I got the kinky twist in my hair, you can't see. My hair may look thick, but when I straighten it, it's very thin. Not like. Thin, thin. I would say it's, it's average. It's not thick. It's not thin. It's just average hair. Um, it does get a lot of shrinkage. It does get a lot of shrinkage. That's probably the before A acting out. But um, I still have very defined spirals. I don't have like the Z zigzag. I have like the spiral curls, like springs. Very springy. My hair is very springy. And I love it. Sorry guys, keep scratching my eyes. Allergies. Absolutely. Driving me crazy. Anywho. Um, so I'll be having more videos even though I'll have these protective styles. And I'll also address issues such as um controversial idea of water and you know, how much water is too much water, what routines could work for people, what could not, what a standard routine should be when taking care of hair. Not should, I hate fixing people and stuff but basically you want to start somewhere with a very basic routine and um, I'll put that out because I don't like making videos too long we don't have to sit through them I just want to cover one topic at a time and make it really really um, short and you're able to bear through it and still keep a focus attention span. I have a very short attention span so I can understand <sighs> Alright, so going natural, is it the thing for you? I can't tell you if it's the thing for you, and I can't tell you if it's not the thing for you. But I can tell you, like I said, it's the best decision that I've made, and I haven't looked back since. And I did it wanting to have this beautiful hair, and I also did it because, you know, I just, I was just tired. Short, 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 short. I would have been bald if I would have kept going on the same track. And I do want long hair. I want my long hair back. So I'm doing the things I need to do to get there. Um, an indirect effect was finding myself um, more in a sense of self-esteem and insecurities and such. It really does uh, make you address the side of you that was able to hide behind the hair. Basically, I hid behind hair for a long time. And going natural gave me the ability to really come out of my shell and not hide behind my hair and be able to really connect with myself and other people. So going natural can not only benefit your hair, it can benefit you as a person. And I'm all for growth, whether it's your hair or you. So look uh, for my other videos, guys. And make sure to take care of yourselves and take care of your hair. Okay? See you guys.